We would not be Cherokee people, but uh, we are Cherokee people, and I'm very proud of that. Most of all the elders are uh, gone that spoke the language. Out of 14,000 members here at Cherokee, there are only less than 500, maybe even 400 Cherokee-speaking people left. The, old, the elders that spoke the language, the grandmas and grandpas, and some of the children learned, but uh, they were just about faded away. But we do have a, uh, immersion classes going uh, not too far from here. And the little kids, two and three year olds, four and five year olds, are learning the language and they're learning to read and write the language. And so uh, it would be interesting to, to visit those little children. They also sing songs, and we have a lot of songs that we, we sang many years ago. So uh, I'm, very, uh, I'm very proud of uh, our language because that is us. That's what identifies us. The language itself is a very, very hard language to learn. Uh, just, uh, just, you just can study and study and study, and uh, you just don't get it. Uh, I know uh, people come here and they think, oh, I can learn the language just in no time, you know. I've learned to say CO, I've learned to say two or three words, and I, I, I can learn it real quick. But when it comes to the real language, the real meaning, you just don't get it. It's, it's very hard, very hard. A little bit, just a little bit of uh, the tone will change the whole thing, the whole sentence. Just a little tone. And uh, so uh, if you don't have that tone, it's a different. But then as you're speaking it and talking it, going over, and you put that little eh, or uh, you know, eh, like that, it, it changes everything. It's, it's, it's hard to understand that part, but you gotta be born with it. I was, uh, uh, my mother and dad, they spoke the language all the time. They didn't use English at all. But my mother spoke English to me so I could learn the English. And when I go to school, I won't have any problem with learning, you know. So that's the reason she taught me English in the very beginning. But when I'd hear my daddy talking, speaking to my mother, and I didn't understand what he's saying, I'd always ask my mother, and I'd say, what, what did he say? And she'd say, oh, he wants to know this, or he wants to know that, you know, or whatever it was, you know. So she'd always tell me what uh, the meaning of what he said, what he asked us. So anyway, our language is very, very important. That's us, that makes us. When you meet uh, people, there's several ways of greeting those people. Uh, one is uh, CO, that's the main one. That's hello or howdy, we all say howdy. CO, and they would say, Tohigo Jo, Tohigo Jo, are you okay? Or you can say, uh, uh, 
And that means the same thing. Are you all right? Uh huh. Oh, she was going to get shown like that. And it would mean, uh, uh, have you been okay in the past? Is what that means. Uh, and oh, uh, she was going to get shown like that. But just the oh, she was that means, are you okay? But in the past, you add those little bitty phrases to it, you know, and uh, it makes it the past time. Now the plural is uh, the beginning of a word. However, we say in the very beginning of what we're going to speak on, we can put the plural in the very beginning, the first character, ani, ani, like a n i, ani, chalagi, and that means a group. Ani, that's a, that's a plural. Uh, whereas in English, you know, we end off with an S at the end of it, so Ani Ani Yawea No, Ani Jalaki Ani Ani Wahya Ani we. That's the way we say all the plurals in that, just about in the whole thing. Once in a while we'll get one that has a reverse, to, you know the way you put it to make a plural uh did you catch any maybe you're speaking of fishing maybe you meet someone that uh has been fishing and you'll say did you catch any you know you're asking a question and uh uh squeal squeal to get shown and uh, and uh, there's a lot of them if you go to a certain point, you know, and uh, you're speaking of fishing, or maybe whatever it is, you know, you're speaking of, did he need you? Did you catch him? All right, and then uh, squeezed, squeezed, on, squeezed, on. that means many. And there's a plural in there, but uh, it's, you know, it's not in the beginning, like I was saying, but it's the way it's spoken, makes a little plural. Uh, squeezed, uh, that means a lot of them, a lot of them, and there's a plural in there to make a lot of them, you know. So it's said in a different way, and uh, it's, uh, it's just, uh, again, a very, very uh, hard language to speak of. When, we, when I say, aya, aya, that means me, I. That means I, you know. Aya no chalagi, ya we ya hi. Ha no no, agwena sha chalak chukshast. Kadoos, they get some, and I deal with Tusha, Chukshus, Kadoos, Ale, Yonego, John Discon, Ale, uh, call an A, yeah, Squaw, dig with Tusha, call an A, yeah, uh, dig with Tusha, eh, Udo, yeah, Yelly, Osha, Yellow Home, and I. And I said, uh, I am a Cherokee from the um, Eastern Band, where the sun comes up in the east, Eastern Band. And I, I grew up in uh, the Big Coal community, and I, I grew up on, uh, in a little valley called uh, Big Bear.